So today we're going to have a look whether there's actually a difference in performance between Steam version of games or the Xbox app version of games. We'll be testing with the Xbox Game Pass version of the games on PC, obviously. And on the screen right now, we've got Ark Survival Ascended. And on the left, we've got the Steam version. And on the right, we've got the Xbox Game Pass version. And yeah, you can see that the differences are minimal, but the Xbox Game Pass uh, version is actually slightly faster by about four frames per second now you can disable volumetric clouds and this is what we've done yeah this is just so you can actually increase the performance slightly and now the xbox version of the game is pulling more ahead by around 10 percent now this is something that i did not expect i did set the time of day exactly the same for both versions but Apart from the performance, there's actually a bigger difference and that comes in feature sets, right? So right here, I've just been testing on the medium preset and right here you can see on the Steam version, we do have FSR and DLSS. Now on the Game Pass version, unfortunately, we do not have a DLSS or frame generation. Now, if you enable DLSS on the Steam version, you'll see that you get all the DLSS functionality and you can actually enable frame generation as well. Now, this is the biggest difference between the two that I could see apart from the slight performance the benefit that uh, the Game Pass version of the game actually has. So let's go ahead and, uh, sorry, I'm just going through all the settings here. So let's just go ahead here quickly and enable uh, frame generation. And then we'll uh, just do a, a quick benchmark run here. So just to show you, this is the Game Pass version of uh, the game and there's no DLSS. All right, so let's go ahead and just test with DLSS frame generation yeah and you'll see that we do gain quite a, a bit in the frame rate there between 40 and 50 frames per second depending on where we are remember this is now with DLSS and the previous benchmarks were done with FSR just to keep it uniform and even with FSR on both the Xbox Game Pass uh, version of the game actually ran a little bit better but with DLSS frame generation it works a lot better all right so next up we've got Lords of the Fallen and yeah we are running at 1440p ultra at dlss quality now both these game versions do support uh, dlss this time around and there's really no big performance differences here although the steam version is pulling slightly ahead by around six frames per second nothing much to write home about nothing that you'll really notice while playing the game it's uh, repeatable and it's measurable but probably not that noticeable. The biggest the difference is actually within the 0.1% lows. Now the Xbox Game Pass version also does not support uh, frame generation. So let's go ahead and enable frame generation here and just do a quick run again. And now you can see we went from around 110 frames per second to around 150 frames per second, right? So the, the average frame rate is a much higher. The lows will be much better with frame generation enabled. My skill set in Souls games aren't better with the frame generation at all i do suck when it comes to souls games i don't enjoy the genre at all purely because i do find it a little bit too difficult so i just wanted to show you once again what you're basically missing out on if you get the game pass version the free version of the game well not free but free with game pass with your monthly subscription all right so next up we've got pal world and here we are running it at 1440p epic preset native and now the Xbox Game Pass version is pulling slightly ahead again. Now I did try and line up the time of day here, although I don't think I was completely successful. So I'm not sure if that uh, that's where the discrepancies come from, but you can see that there's about a five frames per second difference in the average between the Xbox Game Pass version and the Steam version. Now the Xbox Game Pass version does not support any upscaling and the Steam version does support DLSS but no FSR on either so we'll just enable DLSS quickly and you can see we went from around 110 frames per second to 140, 150 frames per second while the game still looks plenty good and I mean this is basically just what you can do if you want slightly better frame rates or slightly higher frame rates and now we are getting a high refresh rate experience here. Right so next up we have have grounded and yeah the xbox game pass version is uh, a little bit further ahead than i was expecting and the the colors do seem a little bit different on the xbox game pass version i, I 
tested this game three times now just to just to see if it's something I did. The settings menu is a rather bland. There's not a lot of settings you can change. It does not support upscaling. Well, it does have a resolution scale, but it doesn't have temporal upscalers. And this is just that native, and you can see that there is a, around a six frames per second difference uh, or a lead with the Xbox Game Pass version, which I'm not entirely sure exactly why. All right, so next up, we've got Shadow of Mordor, and this one lined up pretty well except when I start fighting. But yeah, you can see the Xbox Game Pass version once again is slightly ahead. And at times it actually becomes a, a lot more ahead. It's it's actually a little bit faster than the, the Steam version. Now this game does feature dynamic enemies. So the enemies aren't always in the same place and I'm not, uh, not able to line up my, my run yet perfectly. But you can see in this specific spot you can see that the xbox game pass version is around six frames per second higher than the steam version and when we do combat it's also slightly higher so once again not entirely sure why that is i tested it multiple times but it's still the same result and starfield once again 1440p ultra with the lss set to quality yeah uh, the game pass version is a little bit faster and I do think it's because it is a, it's a different version on Steam because uh, the Steam version has the new map. The local map uh, is updated, whereas the Xbox Game Pass version still has the old map. So there are definitely some games out there that run different versions of the game on the Xbox Game Pass. Uh, well, the Xbox Game Pass version, if I can put it like that. Uh, we saw that with the PAL World because uh, there's no upscalers. And over here, the Steam version is, m is much newer than the one on Xbox Game Pass. And therefore, I do think that might uh, contribute to the performance, the differences, because I did set the time to match perfectly here right so next up we've got doom eternal and i'm not able to line up my run here at all so i'll just kill all enemies in this uh, small area here and uh, this is with the ultra nightmare settings and native resolution ray tracing enabled and you can see both are using around eight gigabytes of vram and both are sitting around 200 frames per second I did not uh, expect this game to, to change much between the, the two uh, stores because it's an older game by now and technically it should be the same version on both, right? So the reason why there's a, a version discrepancy on the Xbox Game Pass app or the Xbox app is because Microsoft has uh, more stringent uh, policies or procedures when it comes to update certification, right? So it takes a little bit longer. All right, so, or that's what we've been told anyway. <laughs> All right, so next up we've got Remnant 2 and over here you can see the Xbox Game Pass version actually slightly outperforming the Steam version. I do think it's because of the lighting, but I can't really align the lighting. Uh, there's no time of day setting or whatever. So do Xbox Game Pass versions perform worse than the Steam counterparts? Actually, no sometimes it actually performs better but the biggest difference between the two is sometimes there's an older game version on the xbox app all right that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one